Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This uh, video is about how to install Java and Eclipse into a Ubuntu 12.04 desktop using the Synaptic Package Manager. So the outcomes on this video is the first thing you're going to have to do is install Synaptic Package Manager from the Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, Ubuntu 12.04 does not come with a Synaptic Package Manager installed. Uh, make sure you install updates, all updates for installing Java and Eclipse. This is uh, real important because uh, it seems like Eclipse is not steady or not work as well in this 12.04 version as it did in the 10.04 version. Uh, then use Synaptic Package Manager to install open source and Eclipse as one package. That's very easy. And then, of course, some gotchas. Uh, demonstrate how not to update Eclipse because you can have two bad things can happen and uh, lose one of them is you can lose your Java perspective and then finally is uh, create a Java hello world program in Eclipse to verify the Java Eclipse install requirements of course are Ubuntu uh, desktop and internet connection enough memory to run both Ubuntu and Eclipse 512 megabytes my bare minimum recommendation but Eclipse has a love affair with memory, so give it as much as you can. And you can get some additional info at uh, Open Source Java because that's the package that we'll be installing, and then Eclipse. In this section, I'm going to install Synaptic Package Manager from the Software Center. Synaptic Package Manager will allow you to install both Java and Eclipse as a simple package rather than as separate packages and then trying to configure them. So to do that, go to the Ubuntu Software Center, open it up, and we're going to search, when this opens up, for Synaptic, and here it is, Synaptic Package Manager. So let's go click on that, and then click click install and of course it asks for your uh, authentication and we'll try a little for a while now you'll notice two places it doesn't look like much is happening but in here you'll see this circle that means it's being installed, and here you'll see this increasing. We'll come back when it's uh, uh, installed, and then we'll check and make sure it's installed. Okay, right here is a checklist that says installed in 2012-05-21. And if you want to take a look and see where your software is installed, you simply click on All Software then click on the installed and this tells you what software you are and Synaptic Package Manager is installed in themes and tweaks and we're going to scroll down here and right here is Synaptic Package Manager with a check and it's right here also and let's see and this install actually locks it to a toolbar and you can unlock it if you don't want to have it there and then it will you'll have to go back up here to dash home to get it before installing eclipse and java into ubuntu 12.04 i recommend you get all your updates there seems to be some problem where uh, eclipse uh, really is irregular if you try and update it yourself but i want to make sure there's no other problem in order to get all your updates, you simply go to the uh, Dash Home and click your Update Manager. Just basically start it. Make sure you do a check. And then install the updates. As In a previous video, I just went and did install the updates, but that always seemed to give me a a problem. I always, uh, everything worked fine when I did a check. Once you've done the check, do the install. And 
once you have all updates in installed, your next step is to start Synaptic Package Manager. And uh, once you have all uh, updates installed, your next step would be to start Synaptic Package Manager and install Eclipse and Java. To install Java and Eclipse together, I'll use the Synaptic Package Manager. It's either right here or at the Dash Home. You can go to Synaptic Package Manager and it'll pop up. So let's open it up. Of course you have authentication. Authenticate. And in this case we're going to look for Eclipse dash Java Development Toolkit, JDT. And once this pops up we'll just highlight that and mark for installation and mark and you'll notice that it, it says uh, 107 items to install or upgrade and this is the Java Eclipse Java Development Toolkit or Java Development Tools as this package provides Java a complete and powerful Java IDE so it gets Eclipse and Java all together and installs it as one uh, as one point so let's go apply to be installed if we want to, we can show the details, and it goes through all that, and we simply apply, and now it downloads the packages, and then it will install them. Of course, uh, I'll just flip a page on the video to uh, when it gets to the next screen. Once the files are downloaded, of course, then it's going to install them. Once it's installed, simply close. Next section is going to be about uh, and once it's all closed, you'll see these green items. This, these are the ones that have been installed, and there's more of them if you actually go look and check them. So let's go file and quit. Uh, one thing before we create our Hello World program in Eclipse, I want to point out, let's get rid of this. Uh, and let's check and make sure that we've got a uh, the Java perspective. And we do have a Java perspective. And I'm simply going to cancel that. But over here in the help file, it says check for updates. Now, one time when I've done this check for updates, it has... Uh, produced an error message. Another time it has taken out the Java perspective. So one thing you do not want to do is check for updates. You have had Synaptic Package Manager install Eclipse. So let's let Synaptic Package Manager take care of all the updates and whatever you do don't don't click here or you may have a problem with your Eclipse installation. You may install new software. I haven't had any problem with installing new software like uh, the, the PyDev or uh, the uh, ADT, Android Development Tools. Uh, so I really haven't had any problem there. But just as a word of caution, do not check for updates here. Let Synaptic pa uh, Package Manager take care of all the updates because you may wind up with a uh, Eclipse platform that's unusable. As a high school teacher, I found that uh, if I tell my students not to do it something, uh, there's, a, there's a good chance they may go in there and click on something or do something that they sh just to see what will happen. And that's what I'm going to do here. I, I've cloned my Ubuntu virtual machine right here. Here we've got the Eclipse platform installed, and we can have a, a new project, and you'll see that it's got Java project and everything in here. So... What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to help, check for updates, and uh, very quickly run through this, and uh, we'll see what happens. Remember, this is something I said you should not do if you installed it with uh, Synaptic Package Manager. 
here uh, it gives you a list of things to install. I'm just going to say select all. And simply click next. And then next again. I accept these terms. And we'll just go to finish. And it's going to run in for a while. Uh, problem occurred, updating software has encountered a problem, error incurred while installing uh, details. Um, well, files copy backup could not be deleted. That's one problem that I've countered. Click OK. And the other problem I've encountered, there's no uh, error message, but when you go to project, uh, and it didn't happen this time. The Java project and, and the Java perspective was totally missing. The only thing that you'll see is a general and CVS. So if there's an error message, uh, that's a permission problem where a file could not be deleted. Let's run this thing again and see what we got. It says you will re need to restart the kiss platform for the installation changes. This time I didn't get an error message on the uh, thing. So I'm going to click restart now. Clips comes back up. Accept the default workspace. And file new project and this time the error I get is my Java perspective is missing. So that's why, two reasons why you should not go to help. I'll cancel this. We should not go to help and uh, do the updates from this screen. You should use a synaptic package manager. Uh, next I'll uh, do a hello world program on not the clone but the original. So let's verify the installation of Eclipse by writing a simple hello world program. Go to dash home. And if Eclipse is not there, you simply type in Eclipse. It will pop up. Double click on it. As it goes up here, if you want to attach it to the launcher bar, right click, lock to launcher. Let's accept the uh, default workspace. So we'll go File, New, Project, and we'll select Java Project, click Next, let the wizards do its work. We'll simply call it Hello World, and click on Finish. And it says Open Associated Perspective and uh, Java's Perspective, and we'll click Yes. And once we've got a Java perspective, hello world, go to source, file new, class, and we'll simply call it hello world. And method stubs, would you like to create public static void main string? with the arguments, finish, and here is a stub, so we'll simply delete system out dot print line Hello, Java world. And once we have this, well, not hell, should be hello. And once we have this, simply click on run. And hello world.java, click OK. 
and we have hello world java world right here and that's how to install java and eclipse together with the uh, synaptic package using the synaptic package manager into ubuntu 12.04 lts thank you